Hey guys, it's David. I was grading your YMCA bike labs and I was noticing that a lot of you were having trouble with the graphing technique. So for next week's lab report, the treadmill test, it's going to ask for you to make that same graph. So in order to avoid heartache in my part, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So I've went ahead and already entered some data from the test. A 20 year old male and his heart rate max was 200. So what you need to do first is go under insert, select scatter, and then click on this scatter with only markers. Once you click on that, you're going to get this empty box. I'm going to scoot this up here. So in order to fill this with data, you need to select some of the data that you entered from the test. Okay, so go to, uh, let's go to layout. I'm sorry, design. It's going to be here under select data. So click on that. When this box pops up, click here under the legend series. Click add. And then you're going to select data that you entered here. So for our x axis, we're going to have our VO2 values. And you only need two points, so you don't need all four. In fact, your lab report asks you to include two data points where the heart rate was between 110 and 85% of that heart rate max. So for my example, uh, 128 and 144 beats per minute is what I'm going to use. Okay, so let me go back. Uh, so for the X values, we're going to include our VO2 as our X values. So click and drag 21.4 and 25 or whatever your values are. Just make sure there's two points there. Click on that button. Next thing, go under the Y values. That will be your heart rate. So click and drag those two values. Click that. And then you'll notice that there's two points already on that graph. So once you have that, click OK. Click OK on this too. Next thing you need to do is label your graph. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Okay. So next thing, go under layout chart title. We're going to choose the above chart one. So we'll we'll call this predicting oops, VO2 max. Same thing for your X and Y axis. You need to label those two. So primary horizontal axis title, title below the axis. This will be our VO2 in the unit of milliliters of oxygen consumed per kilogram of body weight per minute relative VO2 and also label your y-axis so rotated title and this will be our heart rate in beats per minute okay next thing you need to do is you need to adjust the heart rate in order to include that person's heart rate max not their 85 percent heart rate max their age predicted heart rate max Remember, 220 minus age is their predicted heart rate max. So for my example, this guy was 20 years old. 220 minus 20 is 200. So we need to include that 200 in this uh, y-axis. So in order to do that, you go under the chart tools, layout, and then go to format selection. Then here under the axis options, go under the maximum automatically adjusted for you but you need to fix that so for my example I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 200 since that's my subjects age predicted heart rate max okay click close and then you'll see that that value has been changed so 0 up to 200 next thing you need to do is uh, adjust your vo2 your x-axis in order to uh, make sure that that vo2 max is in your graph we don't know vo2 max that's the purpose of this graphing technique so you're going to need a number that will be large enough to predict that person's VO2 max. So same thing, click on this little axis. And you'll know whenever you have that, because here under the little box, it'll have that titled horizontal value x-axis. If I wanted to change the y-axis, I'll, I'll click on that, and it'll change it to the vertical axis. So we need the horizontal axis. Click on that.
that. Go to Format Selection. And I'm going to change all of these up. So our minimum value, I'm going to make sure that's at zero. Maximum, I don't know. Let's see if 50 works. 50. Major units, I'm going to go in intervals of 10. Minor units in 5. And I want to be able to see that tick mark for the minor value ticks. Uh, minor tick on the inside. Okay, let's close that out, see how that looks. So we have our VO2 max values from 0 up to 50. Okay, so next thing is click on those data points. Like I said, once you click on that, it's going to give you the series name. In our case, we never titled it, so it's just the generic series one. So click on the little plot points, go under trend line. Then go to more trend line options. We want a linear trend line. And in order to extend this line out until it intersects with that age predicted heart rate max, we need to change the forecast on here. So we want to forecast this forward. I don't know. I always choose 20. That always gives me a pretty good line. You don't have to change the backward uh, period, but if you want, you can. Same thing. Once you click on that, you'll see that that line goes back and forth, depending on what, oops, depending on what you choose. So if the backward period wasn't long enough to cover the graph, so we can increase it to like 30. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, don't mess with the backward period. Just leave it at zero. Yeah, leave it at zero. Just uh, mess with the forward period. 20 is fine to extend that line out until it intersects with the uh, heart rate max. Let's close that out. And the last thing you need to do is make another line that will pr predict your individual's heart rate max, or VO2 max, sorry. So the last thing you need to do is go under Shapes. Click on the arrow here. And depending on where your slope line, your trend line, intersects with your subject's age predicted heart rate max, you're going to take that cursor, click there. And what I do to make a straight line is I hold down the shift key. So hold down shift key, and then you'll notice that that line will be straight, regardless of where you pull, point it. Instead of trying your best to make it as straight as possible, just hold down shift. So bring that arrow down until it intersects with the x-axis. Once it's there, release your uh, mouse, and then that's it. So for my example, my subject's predicted VO2 max was, I would say, 37 or 38 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram body weight per minute. And that's it. So just right-click on the graph, copy it, Go on over to your lab reports, and I've left a little space for you to insert your graph, so just paste it onto there. And it should look like my example that I gave you on your lab report, so it's pretty good. Just make sure you kind of title it 20 year old male, 22 year old female, whoever your subject was, and that's it. Hopefully that helped. See y'all in a couple of weeks.